Morning folks, how are we doing today? Beautiful day here, spring's coming, grasses is growing. We've seen about an inch of grass growth in the last 24 hours. I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. If you would, hit that like button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. In an earlier video, I covered collecting native seeds and drying them. What the goal is here today is we want to thrash this these seed heads out. I used to do this all by hand and you can do it just by rubbing them, rubbing them through a screen and it's actually kind of labor intensive. And pain in the neck. So I, I went ahead and I built a re-thrasher or a de-bearder and it's patterned off of the clipper de-bearder re-thrasher. It's just smaller scale. I don't need nothing real large to process hundreds of bushels of. The inside of this, there's a shaft that goes through here inside the shaft. It looks very similar to the beaters on a manure spreader. Inside, I have three pieces of bar just welded on the inside of this. So whenever that beater comes around, it kind of pieces of metal rubbed together and it helps thrash those seed heads out. A popper for it. We can adjust our seed flow, but these native seeds, seed heads are so big, I don't really need that. And I put a one horse motor on there with an idler. And then underneath here, you see I have, have a hopper, because whenever we get done, we need to clean that out in this bottom drops completely out of the de-bearder. Seed comes out of here through this door and it just drops down into here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run some, see how it turns out. What we're looking for is a product, something like this. Now it's not super clean and I don't care if it's super clean. And we can get it super clean and I can show you how. That in that bucket there, that is purple cone flower. And then in this bucket here, I had some stuff. I have a brush seed harvester and that brush seed harvester, I took it through a native stand of uh, plants that I had and I got a whole bunch of uh, seed out of, you name it, whatever was standing in there, it, it come through. Now this here was, had a lot of leaves in it, a lot of grass in it. It's still pretty dirty and chaffy. My ultimate goal was to just get it through a seed spinner. I'll put a link in the above this video here to the seed harvesting and drying video. Let's thrash these guys out. I used to do it by hand. I used to spend hours and hours doing it and fire this bad boy up. I should have wired a switch into it, but I didn't. So we just have to plug it in. Runs pretty quiet. good job. The goal is, is to thrash those seeds out of those seed heads without damaging them. Just doing a really fine job of that. Just let it run there a while. Now we're two buckets of seed heads. See there? That's just knock some seeds right out. Let's 
some of these didn't get thrashed, but that's okay. Well, really much for seed in them anyhow. We have three buckets of cup plant to run too. I'm not gonna run them today. Those paddles that are on the shaft work like an auger system. They're twisted just a little bit, so it takes a while for all that material to get pushed pushed up through to the end. Yeah, there's quite a few seeds in there, so that's probably a good idea. This here is pretty much dirt. There is some seed in it. We can, not a big deal. Careful you don't get your fingers in there because it'll bust or tear a finger off really easy. Shut her down and open our doors up. Quite a bit of seed left in here yet, I think. Turn it back on, let it vibrate out. Actually, there's not a lot, but we're still gonna run it a little bit just to get it out of there. See those paddles in there? I'm gonna shut it down so you can really see them. See the paddles, and then off to the left there or off to the right side you can see the stationary paddles that help bust those seeds apart in the rethrashing process that didn't take five minutes to run two buckets of seed thrashing it out which is awesome because that would have took me about six hours thrashing those that many seed heads at one time. Just walk them. We're gonna go through the process of cleaning it now. And what I'll do is I run them through a series of screens. These are stainless steel screens. You can buy them by the set online. I think I paid 30 bucks and I got there's six there and I have about six or seven other ones in my seed room and we're gonna do a video on that the seed rooms mouse proof uh, I have series of screens clear down to really really fine mesh and it'll help clean the, like the bergamot and the mountain mint and stuff those seeds are very very tiny they're almost like dust let's clean this out and see what we got See the numbers marked on here that's two by two and two by two what that means is is there's two two holes per inch by two holes by per inch that's what's that's what we got left out of two buckets that's all mashed down and thrashed out what I'll do is I put it in And we'll work down in our screen size until we figure we got what we need out of it. There's the big particles left. We won't waste those. We will take actually take that out in areas that I can't get with the seed spinner. Spread them out by hand because there's still seed left in there. Get some of these plants started in other areas on the farm can't get with a seed spinner. A couple years ago I took a cup plant that what I hand thrashed and I thought that I had a lot of it. 
Uh, I spread it in my my front yard. We have some cup plant coming up in our front yard now. Alongside the shop, I spread it all over the place. And what I'm gonna do now is go down to really fine screen. Yeah, not really. That's a 10 by 10. I don't know if I have my 12 by 12 out here. Size is that it's an 8 by 8. Let me go grab the 12 by 12. I should have a 12 by 12. Got my 12 by 12 screen. It actually had uh, New England Aster seed in it from a couple years ago that I forgot about. So what I'm doing now, I got my 12 by 12, is I'm taking the fine dust out of it. Get rid of that, and then we'll go change up to another another screen. See, it needs cleaned into a bucket. That way, we can get rid of the, the dusty stuff. This here actually needs run through there too, so we're just gonna put it down there. This in here, we're just taking the the fine particles out. This screen won't let the viable seed down through. You can see we're getting rid of the fine, fine stuff. You can see, it's all fine particles. And we'll just take that in a bucket. Get another screen full and we'll just re repeat this process until we have everything. I do have a, a Sears and Roebuck fanning mill wouldn't work real well for this process here so just using screens to clean it the cup plant right now I think it's like hundred and fifty seven dollars a pound or something like that it really has seen a big price jump when we originally planted it, we originally planted it, I think it was like $50 a pound or something like that. Now this, the purple cone flower is not, I mean it's expensive, but it's not as high as some of the, the native plants. You gotta consider, yeah, they, they come off as expensive. We're used to planting in pounds. A lot of these natives, you plant them in ounces or ten ounces to the acre. I mean, it's very, very little. There's the basically the chaffy dirt that we got out of there. Now let's go through a five by five. There's five holes. It's actually, 20. five by five means there'd be 25 holes to the inch. This here is pretty much all, all garbage. For my purposes, I don't sell native seed or any seed that I collect for that matter. I don't know if you've seen my, my corn up here. This is how we store our corn when we collect our open pollinated corn. It, uh, that group of corn right there will plant approximately an acre and a half. Like I said, we're just my goal is just to get it so it will go through a seed spinner. Don't get in my bucket. 
It's a good boy. Yes, I know. I know you like the food, Bob. Go. Go. This here's the last of that. Dump it. We're going to run through one more set of screens. I think we can. Okay, we're left with pretty much all seed. I'm gonna run it through another screen. I don't know. It's to the point where we'll go through a seed spinner now. Okay, that's what we got left. That's clean enough for me. Happy with it. And that's how much purple coneflower seed that I got out of three five gallon buckets of seed heads. I do not know what the recommendation is for planting purple coneflower, but I can tell you this there's a ton of seed there. some point maybe you'll be collecting your own native plants <laughs> I know this guy here certainly has saved me a ton of time we've only been working at this for maybe 20 minutes to to get all the seed and that's pretty impressive this is actually kind of exciting how well this wreath rashers work for us it's not it's a simple build but it took a little bit longer than I thought. I probably have 20, 30 hours in it building the thing. There's three buckets of purple cone flour. I probably saved six hours worth of work. We'll see how the cup plant, I have three more buckets of cup plant that needs thrashed out, and I'm gonna see how, how well that works. I would like to thank subscribers for supporting the channel, and if you haven't hit that notification bell to get weekly videos, I recommend doing it. If you would, like the videos and comment. I, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, you know, what, what can we do better? What can we do to, to help you out? The last video was on how I set my big buggy up. Uh, there was a lot of viewers that requested that video and I think it was helpful. I've got a lot of good feedback from it. You know, don't hesitate to comment and we will see you next week. Have a good one.